Let's bring in Kelsey Kushner now. She has the latest update from BGE. And crews are still on the scene tonight working to figure out what caused the explosion. Kelsey, give us an update, please. Yeah, Rick, Vic, well, tonight BGE says that all but seven homes now have their power back on. Of course, the three homes that were demolished and then four by request of the fire department. But there's still a lot of neighbors out here. They boarded up their windows. They've decided to take off. We know BGE says that they know where this explosion happened right here behind me, but they don't know how it happened. And that has a lot of neighbors worried. They say they're worried that this could actually happen again. It was just like a boom. And then they shut the whole building. It was a feeling echoed throughout the neighborhood. Monday's explosion turned homes inside out. I could be, I could have been dead. Power lines snapped and bricks crumbled into pieces. Gone, gone, totally gone. As the sun beat down, over 200 homes were left without power. Firefighters went door to door checking gas meters. BGE trucks lined Labyrinth Street as crews shut down the gas to 38 homes and worked to figure out what went wrong. It's really too early to say how long it's going to be before we can get gas service uh, restarted to those, those properties. BGE officials say the area's gas infrastructure was installed back in 1960 and their most recent inspection of the area was nearly a year ago. They say crews never identified any gas leaks and prior to the explosion, they received no calls about a gas odor. Some neighbors are worried it could happen again. I'm definitely scared. Meanwhile, a couple blocks away, strangers became friends, helping each other stay cool with water while the power was out. This is the least I can do. Now back live out here is another look at the scene. Now BGE tells me that they have to wait for firefighters to remove the rubble and then they can get the clear to actually start digging up that area. But they haven't gotten the okay for them to do that yet. They say they do plan on remaining out here throughout the, the throughout the night, not only to make sure that it's safe for neighbors to return back home, but also to make sure that those repairs have been made. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Krishner for WJZ.